Hello, Washington County. Thank you for listening to 15 Minutes with Fuzz. On this show, I feature people, organizations, and events that have a positive impact on our lives here in Washington County, Wisconsin. I love hosting the show because I get to meet so many different people and learn about programs and organizations that I might not have otherwise heard about and that the social media algorithms don't always bring to the top of our feeds. February, as you should know, is Black History Month. I'm going to give you a little history on Black History Month. In 1915, Carter G. Woodson and Jesse E. Moreland created an organization, which is known today as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, in order to celebrate and make people aware of achievements by black Americans and other people of African descent. In 1926, the association started what was then called Negro History Week in order to, quote, organize local celebrations, establish history clubs, and host performances and lectures. They chose the second week in February because both Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln's birthdays were in the second week of February. During the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s, that week began to expand to the whole month of February. Then in 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized February as Black History Month, and it's been officially recognized by every president ever since 1976. I've sourced some of those facts from the History Channel and from the NAACP, and I will link to those articles in the show notes of this episode. In honor of Black History Month and today, Tuesday, February 14th, as I release this episode, is actually Frederick Douglass's birthday. I am speaking with West Bend High School senior Samaya Evans and West Bend band director and multicultural club advisor Leah Duckert Kroll. The West Bend High School's S apostrophe multicultural club is hosting a program at the Silver Lining Arts Center Auditorium on Friday, February 24th at 6:30 p.m. It's free and open to the public and you should attend. And with that, here are 15 minutes on the Multicultural Club's Black History Month celebration with Samaya Evans and Leah duckert Kroll on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Samaya and Leah, thank you for joining me today. Samaya, I'll start with you. Uh, What grade are you in, first of all, and are you a Spartan or a Sun? Um, I am a senior, so 12th grade, and I am a Spartan. And so you have big plans coming up after you graduate? Uh, Just going to college. Sweet. When did you get involved with the Multicultural Club at West Bend West? It was my freshman year. Uh, My sister had informed me about it. So Okay. And what do you enjoy most about the Multicultural Club? Mainly, it's just like a more diverse group of people than, you know, what you see in the hallways and classrooms. So it's a good opportunity to be able to socialize with different people and talk about different things that, you know, that we can discuss outside of our typical environment. Yeah. So it gives you an opportunity to share experiences or be with people who understand, you know, be a part of uh, a more diverse culture than the typical school mm-hmm. day setting. Yeah. And Leah, what is your role at the West Bend High Schools? I'm one of the high school band directors. Can you give me some more background on the Multicultural Club? How, like how long has it been around, those kind of things? Sure. It started in the fall of 2017. Our student body was rapidly growing in diversity, and we saw a need to have something to meet the needs of all of our students. Mm-hmm. What kind of activities do the students in the Multicultural Club participate they've, in? They've done a lot, actually. They've done field trips to theatrical performances. They do fundraising drives. They do community partnerships. As an example, they have a community partnership with the good folks at Cedar Community. They read to elementary students, which is fun for both kids, Mm -hmm. like both the older kids and the younger kids. They love it. They sponsor our Black History Month celebration. And last year we did a really cool thing called Days for Girls, which was a collection drive for feminine hygiene products for like sustainable menstrual health. Great. Yeah. So February is Black History Month, and the Multicultural Club has a program planned for Friday, February 24th at the Silver Lining Arts Center Auditorium at the high school. So Maya, what can people expect at the Black History Month program? Well, we usually like to incorporate professional and 
entertainment with student involvement. So professionally, we're having an African dance company, Alafia Drums Dance Collective. They're performing for 45 minutes. And usually you have to pay to see them perform, but with the program, it's nice. People can just come out and see, experience that, especially in West Bend. And then there will also be a few high school students who are reciting things like speeches and poems. And then afterwards, we end with some light refreshments, you know, snacks and drinks afterwards. How many years has this program been going on, the Black History Month program at the schools? The Black History Month program has been going on four years. We had to take two years off during the whole COVID thing. Oh, sure. Yeah. If COVID wasn't a thing, we would have been in our sixth year. Oh, okay. As it is, we're in year four. Now, is the event itself open to the public or is it for students? Or Yeah, it sure is open to the public and we really encourage everyone to come on in. How much does it cost to get into the event? Totally free. Totally free. Totally free. We want this to be open and available and accessible to everyone. Now, even though it is free, it is a fundraising event, right? Yeah, like we'll definitely have things like a 50-50 raffle or, you know, just open fun- fundraising oh. or, you know, whatever. We'll definitely have that. So it does go back to the Multicultural Club. Okay, very good. And, and the Multicultural Club itself isn't funded by the schools, right? No, we are not subsidized by the school at all. So things like the Black History Month celebration, the next year's production will be paid for by this year's production. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And that's how you afford to have Correct. Um, the, you know, the performers and yeah. such come in. That's what, right. What was the name of the that group again that's performing? The Alafia Drum Stands Collective. Okay. And you said that's from Milwaukee? Or it's... Mm, yes. Okay. Awesome. So, Maya, how has the Multicultural Club helped you in your high school career? Um, Sort of how I talked about earlier. It provides a space for me, you know, throughout high school, four years. Sometimes seems longer than um, <laughs> yeah. just four years. But, yeah, it's given me a good community uh, besides what's already provided. I've, you know, made a lot of friends and experienced a lot of cool things like reading with elementary schools mm-hmm. or the CD community, you know, reaching out with their group as well. So a lot of, I don't know, networking within like the community as well. How can students become more involved with the multicultural club? I think, Samaya, you might know that one a little bit more, would you? Yeah, so if somebody wanted to, yeah, you know, like if a, a student coming into West Bend, you know, they want to get involved, how do they become aware of it? How do they join? That kind of stuff? Um, well, once they do become aware of it, I mean, we have like stuff at like freshman orientation. I don't know if that's technically what it's called, but like, Stuff like that. Or I know there's like posters and stuff on and, and the school website. But after that, some people I know come and talk to you, Miss Tucker, and then they also can reach out to either her or the advisor, Miss Simon, or, you know, talk to your friends. And usually we meet during resource. So all you have to do is sign up for Flexi on Wednesdays. Not every Wednesday, but some Wednesdays. So so if you go to school there, you probably, you, you'll probably probably find out about that through all the stuff up and around, right? Yeah. And it's in our co-curricular handbook as well. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, Samaya, good luck with the rest of your senior year and good luck at college. Thank you. And of course, good luck with the the Black History Month program, which is happening again on Friday, February 24th. What was the time again on that event? I think it's 6.30. 6.30. Okay. Very good. Well, I think it's really cool what you guys are doing. And I think it's important in our community. And, and Leah, thank you for joining me. And Absolutely. Uh, thank you both for coming in. Thank you so much, Fuzz. Thank you again to Samaya Evans and Leah Duckert Kroll from the West Bend High School's Multicultural Club for joining me on today's episode of 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Again, their program takes place at the high school's Silver Lining Arts Center Auditorium on Friday, February 24th, starting at 6.30 p.m. It's completely free and open to the public. Go check it out. And thank you again for checking out 15 Minutes with Fuzz. It's always a pleasure to have you listen to my show. I appreciate it. I have a bunch of great guests coming up for the show next week. Jess Wilds and Jay Shambo join me to talk about the upcoming downtown Main Street renovations here in West Bend. It'll be a good and informative episode. If you have an idea for who I should feature on 15 Minutes with Fuzz, shoot me an email. It's 15withfuzz at gmail.com. That is 15 spelled out with fuzz, F-U-Z-Z, at gmail.com. You can find all of the back episodes of this show in your favorite podcast player. Click on the follow button while you're in the podcast player to get notified of when new episodes of this show come out. You can also see them all at 15withfuzz.com. That'll do it for today's show. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next Tuesday right here on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Fuzz.